So, it is fairly easy to calculate porosity when you have bulk density and particle density and you can use the relationship. But sometimes you don't have these values and you need to actually calculate porosity from scratch. So in this case, we calculated the volume of our core to be 98.2 grams per centimeter cubed. Our saturated weight, so when I'm, my column is completely and totally full of water, it is 185 grams, and my oven dry weight is 150 grams. In this case, we need to remember that one gram of water equals one cubic centimeter of water. The density of water is equal to the weight of water. So porosity is actually defined as the total pore volume divided by the total volume. And this is really convenient for us because we can actually calculate the total pore volume given the information that we already know. Pore volume is water volume at saturation minus water volume at oven dry. We have weights. We need to convert weight into volume. And in this case, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So therefore, we know that our volume of water equals our weight of soil. And our one-to-one -one ratio is manifested in this lovely rate density ratio up here. So in this case, our volume at uh, saturation is 185 grams minus 150 grams. So we now know that our total pore volume equals 35 grams. Because we determined that there are 35 grams, therefore 35 cubic centimeters, we can calculate our total porosity. We can use 35 divided by our total volume of our core, which is 98.2. And in this case, our total porosity equals 0.36%. In this case, 36% of our 98 gram or our 98 cubic centimeters of volume is made up of pores. If we look at this in a picture, one third of our volume is pores. So this third is whole, whole space, and this third is solid. So we just finished calculating porosity to be 0.36, and bulk density we completed in a previous video is 1.52 grams per cubic centimeter. If you can't remember, it's just taking the oven dry weight divided by the total volume of the core. We then can find particle density from the relationship that we already determined. So we know that porosity, 0 0.36, so porosity equals 1 minus bulk density over particle density. If you rearrange this equation, which you get by subtracting 1, so porosity minus 1 equals bulk density over particle density, multiplying by particle density, and then dividing by this p minus 1, you end up with an equation that particle density equals negative bulk density over porosity minus 1. In this case, we will get 1.52 negative divided by 0 0.36 minus 1, which leads us to a density of 2.38 grams per cubic centimeter. So this is how you calculate porosity if you had a core sample of your very own. You can know what it weighs before you dry it, put it in the oven, and then you know what it weighs in the oven and you can calculate the volume, and then you can calculate the bulk density based on these values. So this is an actual application you guys could run across in your future.